The world of healthcare is dynamic. Each day brings opportunities and challenges as healthcare organizations strive to meet the ever-changing needs of patients and their families. In 2004, Commonwealth Health Corporation successfully tackled the challenges and grasped the opportunities, making it a record year for expansion and growth. The highlight of the year was the completion of Project 2001, the Medical Center's three-year, $30 million expansion and renovation project. The opening of the new Diagnostic Imaging Center was the culmination of the project. The Diagnostic Imaging Center features a dedicated entrance, large lobby, and registration area solely for diagnostic imaging patients. Other phases of the project completed in 2003 included emergency services and surgical services. Over 21,000 square feet of new construction for the ER tripled the number of private treatment rooms and added on-site radiology services. Over 38,000 square feet of expansion and renovation consolidated surgical services onto one floor. In 2004, CHC opened its fourth hospital, Commonwealth Regional Specialty Hospital. This 28-bed, long-term, acute care hospital cares for patients with chronic disease or complex medical conditions who require long-term inpatient hospital stays, ranging from 18 to 35 days. Although located within the medical center, Commonwealth Regional Specialty Hospital is a separate hospital with its own board of directors and medical and professional staff. The expansion of technology and services branched out to other communities as well. The Medical Center at Franklin and the Medical Center at Scottsville installed PACS, a filmless x-ray system which enables the hospitals to send diagnostic images to physicians via the internet as soon as the exam is performed. The Medical Center at Franklin expanded its radiology services with nuclear medicine and bone density testing. Franklin also added a new test that helps aspirin users and their physicians determine if aspirin is providing an effective, protective benefit for those at risk for heart attack and stroke. The Medical Center at Scottsville expanded its emergency room physician coverage to 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, a valuable service for the community. At Heartland Medical Plaza, growth was evident. Bluegrass Outpatient Center expanded its services to include massage therapy. Urgent Care averaged 3,200 patient visits a month. Through its contact with the Department of Veteran Affairs, Court Care provided over 1,800 local veterans enrolled in the program with needed medical care. Center Care increased its participating network providers by 22% and experienced an approximate 15% growth in lives attributable to continuing expansion of the network's service area. Access fees in 2004 increased to $1,642,000, which is an increase of $490,000 over 2003. New market dimensions achieved a 20% growth in employer clients. New Market is now paying over $27 million in paid claims annually. In 2004, CHC invested nearly $10 million in new technology throughout the corporation. In particular, investments in new technology at the medical center allowed the hospital to introduce new services to the community. The Diagnostic Imaging Center now utilizes 4D ultrasound with features that detect fetal abnormalities and the Accelera Digital Imaging System for cardiac ultrasound which allows digital imaging of the beating heart. In the area of endoscopy, a new diagnostic procedure and new treatment option were introduced for people who suffer from gastric reflux disease. The medical center expanded its electrophysiology services with radiofrequency catheter ablation, a non-surgical technique that destroys parts of the abnormal electrical pathway that causes abnormal heart rhythms. In surgery, the ligature system was introduced that achieves hemostasis or the stoppage of blood flow and decreases surgery time and the use of suture. In 2004, medical center EMS added three new ambulances to its fleet. EMS now utilizes LifePak 12 monitoring systems, the latest technology in 12-lead EKG. Another addition was First Watch, a real-time early warning system that monitors 911 calls and other information sources for patterns that might indicate a bioterrorism attack or natural epidemic. Medical Center EMS is the first in the state and among the first in the country to install the First Watch system. 
In August, the Commission on Cancer of the American College of Surgeons granted approval to the cancer program at the medical center. This ensures patients have access to quality, comprehensive care that offers a range of state-of-the-art services and equipment with a multi-specialty team approach to coordinate the best treatment options available to all cancer patients. The medical center has the only cancer program in the area accredited by the Commission on Cancer. The Medical Center and CHC are known for their involvement in the community, providing financial and volunteer support to many community activities that promote physical activity and health awareness. In 2004, the Medical Center sponsored premier health events such as the 25th running of the Medical Center 10K Classic and the American Heart Walk. To promote physical activity in children, Center Care sponsored the Center Care Children's Classic. To raise funds for cancer education and research, the Medical Center at Franklin and the Medical Center at Scottsville sponsored the annual American Cancer Society Relay for Life in their respective communities. And to support the Arthritis Foundation, Bluegrass Outpatient Center sponsored the Jingle Bell Run. The Medical Center Health and Wellness Center in the Greenwood Mall now averages 3,200 patron visits per month. New in 2004 was the Healthy Kids Club, a membership program that promotes physical activity, healthy eating, safety and wellness to children ages 5 to 12. The Community Diabetes Program, which provides education and counseling to people with diabetes, experienced a 40% growth. In spite of the national flu vaccine shortage, the Medical Center Health and Wellness Center was able to give 1,000 flu shots to high-risk individuals. Video footage of the Medical Center's flu shots was featured on ABC's nationally telecasted Evening News. The Commonwealth Health Free Clinic continued to meet the medical and dental needs of the working poor in 2004, with total visits to the clinic just under 10,000. Ten new patients visit the clinic each week. Approximately 3,400 prescriptions were filled each month for clinic patients and seniors enrolled in the Senior Medication Program. The free clinic would not be possible without the investment CHC makes every year and the funds raised by the Commonwealth Health Foundation. In 2004, the foundation topped $3 million in pledges and donations that helped fund the free clinic and the corporation's other not-for-profit health care initiatives. Over 3,500 donors have supported the foundation since it was formed in 2000. The accomplishments of 2004 could not have been achieved without the dedication of our people, our employees, our volunteers, and our board of directors. They are the heart of our organization. Their countless hours of hard work, their wealth of knowledge and experience, and their commitment to the jobs they do position Commonwealth Health Corporation as the area's health care leader for years to come.